Looking at the price of Mana's gear in the central market can be such a headache, and trying to figure out which set of gear to wear for a gathering can be even more confusing. Do you want more experience, or should you focus on getting more rare drops? With so many choices, and the cost being extreme, getting the most from gathering is not always the most straightforward. Welcome back to the channel all about life skilling. my name is Teddy, and today I'll be showing you how to use all those extra materials you have laying around to craft your very own Mana's gear. So if you have those extra materials and some time, or just want to craft your own Mana's instead of buying it, get your storage is ready and let's start crafting those manos gear. When it comes to manos, the cost and time it takes to save up can take months depending on the RNG or just not having any sales, but with a little planning it is easy to craft and enhance your own gear without needing to rely on another player. But why I choose the manos gatherers clothes over the silver embroidered or the logia mastery gear? Gathering gear is broken up into two categories, experience and mastery. For life skill and gear progression, it's a general rule of thumb to use silver embroidered into a guru for the faster leveling, and for those who are looking for the rare drops, master gear is needed. I won't mention the green or blue grade master gear since this is all about manos and I plan to make a separate guide on accessories since they are life skilling in general and not solely gathering like the clothes and tools. Really fast, let me know down in the comments if you built your own manos gear or if you choose to buy them off the central market. While you're down there, be sure to leave a like if you've been waiting to see how to make your own manos gear without having to touch the central market. But you didn't click on this video just to hear about the gear, you want to know how to craft them so let's go. Gathering gear is really easy to craft and enhance the best in slot for both silver and bordered for those alt and manos for those main life skillers. If choosing to level quickly, choosing the silver and bordered is the best here with plus 3 providing plus 20% up to plus 40% gathering experience at plus 5. Crafting your own can be done at any costume mill using 10 flax fabric, 10 trace of flowers, and 15 blackstone powder. Flax can be gathered using workers on either Costa Farm, Morietta Plantation here, or Kamasov Temple. Flax can also be manually gathered around Medea. Trace of fires, much like the flax, can be gathered using workers on the road tree stub here, or the Bernardo farm here. I know I pronounced that wrong. Traces can also be gathered from Polyphorus mobs or Navarn Step mobs here. Lastly, the blackstone powder can be made in any refinery, grinding down magic crystals, or can be obtained from exchanging rough lustrous gems for mining. Enhancing these can be hard with them being destroyed on failing, but with workers being able to produce these easily and with a properly skilled worker can have these crafted quickly. Keep in mind, plus 1 to plus 3 are the easiest to enhance with plus 4 and plus 5 being the hardest to enhance. But if you're lucky, you can get the best in salt gathering until Guru or before choosing your own mastery gear. Armored blackstones can be obtained from any level 2 refinery or can be obtained while grinding mobs. And as an easy way to get those fail stacks, these can be easily obtained through the Black Spirit Adventure or login bonuses. Moving on to the Manos Gatherers clothes, these are easy to craft with the recipe requiring 30 Moonlight Opal, 15 Dusk Laden Cloth Fabric, 5 Manos Stones, and 50 Magical Shards. Getting these materials are easy, but can take a little time depending on RNG or how long you choose to spend on each material, but Moonlight Opals can be gathered using workers on the Compudia node. Heating the Brilliant Opals with Metal Solvent will create the Moonlight Opals needed. Metal Solvent can be made using Alcmeon, one clear liquid reagent, four rough stone, four melted iron shard, and lastly, either two traces of savagery or two traces of hunting. The dust laden fabric can be made by grinding down 50 cotton fabric with 50 oil of fortitude. The cotton be obtained by sending workers to either the Alto farm here or the Castle farm. Cotton can be manually gathered from the Stone Tail Horse Ranch and each of the farms too. Oil of Fortitude can be made using alchemy on one Clown's Blood, one Fruit of Nature, one Powder Flame, and one Monk's Branch. For the Mana Stones, these can be obtained from any jewelry NPC, but we don't want to touch our silver, so another way to obtain the Mana Stones is through sea monster hunting at an extremely low drop rate, or by bartering crow coin vouchers and exchanging them at either Ravinia here on Lavinia Island, Ravinia here at the Crow's Nest, and lastly, Lavinia here at Port Rat or Nampo Harbor after the Hanzo region comes out. Magical shards can be obtained by heating up yellow-gray crystals found while mob grinding, or can be obtained while heating sealed magical crystals. These are also obtained while mob grinding. For those who are just looking for a non-combat way to craft these, 50 golden seals from Imperial Alchemy can be exchanged for one at Lots Parvati here in Olia. Once obtained, everything can be combined using manufacturing, but now that you crafted your manos, it's time to get it enhanced. 
While gathering, you're able to obtain the black gem fragments, hearts, and sharps for enhancing. The higher your mastery, the more gems that can be found. Combining the black gem fragments with armor and weapon blackstones can create the black gems needed. Combining the hard sharps and black gems will create the concentrated black gems needed for enhancing pass plus 15. For those needing to repair after enhancing, fear not. Fishing has a chance of fishing up the ancient relic shards needed to be used to make the memory fragments to repair one durability per fragment. Memory fragments and artisan memories are also given out during events and login bonuses, so keep your eyes peeled. Enhancing isn't like with normal combat gear. Enhancing manas is a set success rate, meaning fail stacks cannot be used, nor can these be cronstone. If lucky, and using minor repair costs, getting try can be easy. Now after getting all those best in slot clothes made up, let's talk about tools. Gathering tools can be confusing with how many different grades of tools there are. Luckily, it's really simple and is purely dependent on mastery. For below 600 mastery, using a set of lucky tools increases the item drop rate when not using mastery gear. This can be made in any level 3 or level 4 tool workshop, and if you're curious on how to do that, you can click the video in the top corner, or the link will be down in the description below. Once mastery is 600 and above, it's time for those sweet, sweet menace tools. Getting started with tools is simple with just completing the gathering section in the progression pass. Doing this rewards you with your own choice of a single menace tool, but let's get into crafting your own tools. Manus tools can be made using the shining steel version of the tool you wish to make. 15 metal solvents, 5 mana stones, and 50 magical shards. With how easy the materials are to gather once these have been made, it's time to enhance them. This can be done like with any weapon using weapon blackstones until plus 15. Past plus 15 will need the concentrated blackstones. Enhancing menace tools can use cron stones to avoid dropping the enhancement level and fail stacks to increase the chances, unlike the menace clothes. Enhancing will take a lot of RNG, memory fragments, and fail stacks, so be prepared to invest time and energy. But once you hit try or tet with every tool, you can relax and start saving piles of silver while gathering with higher gathering mastery, allowing more rare drops. Crafting the gatherer's best in slot tools and clothes doesn't have to be a confusing mess, though this is not the fastest way to obtain manas with just flat out buying them being the quickest. Crafting and enhancing can be easily done without having to use another player or touching your hard earned silver. I hope this helps you start crafting and enhancing your own gatherer's gear sooner and helps you start selling manas to make a fortune. This is not meant to be a concrete gatherer's gear progression guide, but rather a fun way to show you how to craft manas gathering gear for free while using all those extra materials. You should play the game at your own pace and just enjoy it. But if you want to see how to level those life skills faster or just want to make more money life skilling, click this video here and I will see you in the next one.